Hello, welcome to the Creature UE4 skin swapping tutorial. And if you don't know what skin swapping is or you want to know how to set it up in the Creature Editor, please watch the previous tutorial on how to set up skin swapping in the Creature Editor. Now, assuming you watched that tutorial and you have exported out the skin swap into Unreal Engine, this is the tutorial to watch. All right. So here is the character from the previous session where we had different layers, uh, sorry, different skin swap items for her. She had a cape costume, a dress with a sword, a dress, and just standing there with no dress, no cape, but with a gun and without a gun. As you can see, when you import it into Unreal Engine and create a blueprint for it, she comes in with all the layers, right? And I'm going to show you in a moment how to set, set up the skin swap so that she actually dis displays the relevant skin swap items in the game engine. But first of all, let's take a look at the setup. Again, I hope you're familiar with the creature animation character setup in UE4 for the plugin. If you're not familiar, again, please go watch the previous tutorials or go head out to GitHub to look at the reference links online. Now, so again, we need to set up the creature animation, creature animation asset to point to our asset. In this case, it's called the skin swap asset. And more importantly, you have to set up the metadata asset. This is covered in the previous creature UE4 plugin tutorials. It's basically when you export out a creature asset into a folder, there's two files you really care about, the JSON, the, ca the character JSON itself, and also the character's metadata JSON. And both of those you can actually create as assets. Let me just show you real quick in, uh, as a revision in case you don't know what I mean. So when you right click on the content browser in Unreal Engine and go to Creature, you can create a creature animation asset that points, points to the actual character. And you can also create a creature meta asset that points to your metadata JSON. And both of those files live in the export folder of your game engine export, the procedure when you export it to, to game engines. Okay, So th these are covered in the previous Unreal Engine tutorials. Please go through them if you're not familiar, but it's actually very simple. It's just two files you need to worry about, and you need to create the appropriate assets for them. So now you have that set up. It's basically all, all this. Now, if we double click, if we if we double click on the meta asset, and we scroll all the way down, you will see that it says skin swap names, and it's actually going to show you all the available skin swaps that it has been able to parse in. Right. So we know that there is a default a cape, default gun, dress, and dress sword. And we're actually going to change these or activate these skin swaps in-game in a while. So you see how it's done. So let's actually go to the blueprint setup and let's see how it's done. Okay. So in the event play, when it first starts out, I'm actually going to activate the animation. This is a standard creature animation switching function. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. I'm just going to say play the cape animation. Nothing fancy. Okay, and then the next the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this function called enable skin swap, and I'm just going to say switch to default gun, and that's all it is. It's very simple. It's just this sing single function telling the, the creature plugin which skin swap you want to use. Once you call that, it immediately activates, and then I'm just going to enable user input for keyboard. This has nothing to do with it, but I'm going to I want to show you how you can actually switch the skin swapping in real time or in, in the gameplay dynamically, which is very, very useful. But that's all it is. The actual function to call is just a single function called enable skin swap. And you just provide it with a string of the skin swap you want to swap to. That's all it is. Now, in the rest of the blueprint setup, I'm just saying when I press A, I want to switch to the default gun costume. When I press S, I want to switch to the cape costume. And when I, when I press D, I want to switch to the dress sword costume. All right. So let's play the game and let's see what happens. OK, so there you go. This is the default gun costume. All right. So I press S, I get the cape. Press D, I get the sword. See? See how easy it is to switch between them? And that's really a very, it's a very simple thing, right? So essentially, with the new creature skin swapping facility, you can easily, very easily swap costumes, items, whatever you want, hairstyles, or anything else with the with a single character, as long as you, you have exported out the metadata JSON and, and set up your character in the UE4 environment correctly. OK, so that's really all this. I'll show you one more thing, which is there's also an additional function called add skin swap. 
And this thing actually allows you to create custom skin swaps in game. So you can actually create uh, a brand new custom skin, uh, skin swap dynamically in the game. If you wanted to dynamically swap out items that you care about that weren't constructed or pre-made in the creature editor, you can actually make them yourself in UE4, which gives it even more power and flexibility. All you need to do is to provide in, as it says here, an array of strings. And those strings are the name of names of the region meshes that you want to be swapped in for this particular swap item, you give it a name. That's all it is. So you add your own custom skin swap into it, and then you just call again, enable skin swap on your new item, and it will just enable it. That's all it is. Oh, and also to disable skin swap, you call disable skin swap, this function. So when you call disable skin, skin swap, it will re revert back to the character as if there was no skin swapping around. So again, very easy. Disable skin swap to stop it. Enable skin swap with the skin swap item to actually give it some kind of skin swapping, uh, some kind of skin to swap to. And then you can also make your own custom skin swaps dynamically in the game, in the gameplay, by calling add skin swap with an array of region mesh strings and a new name, of course, for your skin swap. And that's all it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's a very powerful addition to the creature animation tool and the entire creature plugin system for game engines and this one is for UE4 in particular so I hope you enjoy this tutorial again and thanks for watching.